Hey everybody. You know, the change in direction of Mars is not the only thing that's happening in the sky. People would think so, based on what I've been talking about. But Venus is now in Cancer, and that brings sweetness and joy and family happiness and a lot of intimacy. So it really softens the vibration to a great degree. And there's also Jupiter with the North Node, trining Pluto. That's very stabilizing. So no, even with the grand mutable cross and Saturn-Neptune, which makes everybody a little bit mental, it stabilizes you. It's kind of the hook that the jacket lands on if you fall out the window. So you see that there's a lot of stability and there's a lot of sweetness along with this Mars transit. So it's not just one planetary event. It's a complex web. That that's why it's very hard to interpret all these things because it's, it's just not, it's not possible to do it simply. And many people have been asking why I have been dwelling on this, why I have been saying keep an eye on your toddlers, and, and why I've been dwelling on the Mars retrograde in Scorpio for so long. Well, it's not that I'm trying to scare anybody because it's not always horrible, because Mars and Scorpio is two factors. A part of it, I mean, we can't write it off all as evil and, and malefic vibrations. Uh, yes, primitive anger situations arise. It could be the nut that comes at you with a knife and stabs at you, but it's also the genius surgeon who happens to be at the scene of your accident who operates on you with a fountain pen and you turn out to be fine. So Mars and Scorpio is not just an evil vibration. And you got to really think that. It's just as powerful for the forces of healing and good as it is for primitive anger. But I'm trying to think, yeah, it is the, it is the creepy guy who stares at your behind in, at, uh, in the subway or on the bus. But it's not just that. It's the guy who is willing to create an opera writing on a napkin at Starbucks. So it's, it's, it's all sides of a relationship and all sides of a vibration. Why am I dwelling on it now? Well... It it's, happens to be passing over the place where Saturn was in 2014, in March of 2014, uh, and uh, that whole period in 14, and also certainly last year, uh, between uh, July, August, September of 2015. Now, why am, I, why am I dwelling on this, and why do I say watch your toddlers? Because children born in that period after to early 2014 they have Saturn at that end of Scorpio. And so Mars is really backing up now and passing over their vibration. So you got to watch out for kids. There's been a lot of incidents already going on with kids. But it's not. I'm not saying it's to scare to anybody because very often a transit of Mars over a certain point will reopen issues and circumstances and events that took place at that time when another planet was there. In this case, it's Saturn. So you really have to remember that Mars operates on many levels at once. Yes, passions increase. Anger erupts. What has been sleeping awakens. But why should Mars at the last degrees of Scorpio be so important? Well, whether you're two years old, 30 years old, or 60 years old, old issues are coming up to be healed. Mars was considered by the ancients to be a malefic vibration and terrible influence, mainly because it does denote inflammations of all kinds. But it's a ritual. It's a ritual of healing what has come before. That's how eclipses are operating and that's how eclipses are fulfilled by Mars and Saturn. It operates most strongly between May of 2016 and August of 2016. So from your boss or your lover to Hillary Clinton to Donald Trump to Putin, everybody in the media, everybody should read the Mars ritual that we supplied for you on the site and on Facebook now. Good healing to everybody. Talk to you later.